uh, semi-retired at this stage. The, the, the galleries used to be our workspace. So we decided to add on an extra room and all of a sudden we had this vast, nice, light-filled space that just basically was crying out, use it for artwork. So I said to Bill, before we do anything, let's turn it into a gallery and let's bring Nora on board. We both just started to meet up first for live drawing and then afterwards it sure came more and more that it even draw other things together. And then we had so many paintings and we didn't know what to do with them. So Peter had this amazing idea to do a gallery. It was as well really a tiny bit maybe out as well out of frustration because usually when you want to exhibit your paintings you're you really due to the grace of somebody else who wanted, you know, you have to submit, submit your paintings, you have your artist statement, you have to, you know, all this kind of proposal, submission and waiting and so it was really nice to be proactive for a change. So many people around here didn't know what I was doing. I, they okay. always heard mm. I was painting and now at least I could share it. I could say, look, this, this is what I was doing. That's it. it gains an importance in a funny way, you know, not that it matters that it's recognized, but at the same time to stand to it. I used to take a photo and I used to copy the photo and I did photorealistic stuff in oil. After, after that it, it started to become a little bit boring just doing ordinary, just, just copy the, the pictures. So I kind of, I thought I, I mix them a little bit and maybe mix two different images or three different images in one picture. But I think from the photorealistic, you can still see with the use of colors. Oh yeah, they're so oh, diverse, yeah. and you know that yeah. from the photorealistic, I think you learn so much in the sense of what you bring in now, even in the abstract, that there are so many layers. Then Peter tried to uh, just encourage me to do a little bit abstract and just to be to become more free. And uh, all of a sudden, I actually started to enjoy it, to hmm? to really kind of use a spatula and, and just free. My kind of style evolved over the last few years out of the desire to bring some kind of art to people who wouldn't really have to do something with art all the time or, you know, to take kind of this fear away. I just went more and more into illustrations because I really love the kind of persons and monsters. So it went more and more into storytelling or into illustration rather than a big painting. We set up the gallery not knowing what to expect. And it turned out to be an, an amazing success because the local school and a school nearby decided to send their school classes down. A lot of the children would come back by themselves or with their parents. And a lot got inspired and would sit in the garden and do a few sketches. Yesterday there was uh, were visitors there and you could see them smile once yes, they started yes, looking yeah, at your yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like when they said then one of my teachers just one burst out laughing. Yeah. And yeah. I just thought even if it would have just been for this one person, that's yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, just that to fill somebody with fun and to just enjoy themselves. It's also great to share something locally. It's just nice to try something different nine miles outside of the city of Galway. I mean, we don't expect it out here. But just to have the space available and to share it as a community effort was just so rewarding.